relations to protecting our freedom. So recently, and you know, I'm sure I speak for a lot of people when I say that, we've seen an unprecedented misinformation spread on social media, especially with you know the opposition. Uh, um, opposition. They propagate. They go on national, local platforms, propagate lies to almost uh, demonize the sitting government. So oftentimes we've seen that you know these rhetorics they do create a problem. It creates you know upheaval. There's unrest in the society. People go out. They're you know doing reckless protesting and all of that. In some cases, most people have lost their lives. Now, how do we? I know you guys can regulate, but won't you say it's important that we are putting measures in place to at least impede and um, you know deter people, especially you know the opposition, on going on these platforms and propagating lies? You know, my sister, it's very difficult to prevent them going on social media because you can sit in your small corner and put information out there and people believe it. The unfortunate thing or the sad thing is that our, our people don't digest information. They just consume information. You know, when they put information out there, they, they panic and they assume it's the truth and you know they also begin to share it. So that's one challenge that we need to address. Here, people are using social media to make money. Sure. In Ghana, they are using social media to destroy the fabric of society and even the country. That is the problem. Unfortunately, you don't even know who is putting the information out there to prevent it. And of course, they're talking the name of democracy. You cannot suppress freedom. So it becomes a challenge, and I know it's a challenge that we have to address. It. But there are certain people that have come out openly, you know, they are dressed like a and I'm going to take him off. You know, when you set examples like that, then it may serve as a deterrent to some of them. Because when I said the guy they call him Bodu or I said Bakuski, when I said I'm going to see him now, he's background is saying that he didn't say he was quoting somebody. This is the way we have to go to stop some of the misinformation being put out there for people, you know. But what can we do? Unfortunately, I'll repeat, unfortunately, there's no way. Irrespective of Ghanaians, their level of education, most of them consume education. Uh, once they read what is in the social media, they think that is the truth. And they also they don't even ask questions as to why this was said, when it was said, where it was said. You know, they don't ask all these questions. They, whatever they read, that's it. And they also carry that is the challenge. But we'll see how we can